Today in the news, an AMD engineer spills the beans, Intel's Alchemist is out on a photo shoot, and Stadia sells out. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. Over the last couple of months, we've been hearing more and more about upcoming products coming to market, and rumors after rumors and leaks after leaks, all of the specs that float around start to solidify. And that's what we have here today. First, let's talk about the Navi refresh coming up in a couple of months. Specifically, we're talking about the 6050 XT models. We have some contradicting information here, but most of it aligns. According to Greymon55 over on Twitter, AMD will refresh two specific GPU dies, Navi 21 and Navi 22. Now, Navi 21 currently has three models split between the RX 6800 and up to the 6900 XT. Navi 22 2 is specific to the two models in the 6700 series. No actual models were mentioned by Greymon55, but this is where another leak came up from Moore's Law is Dead. According to his sources, three models were mentioned, the 6950XT, 6850XT, and 6750XT. So there's two Navi 21 refreshes and one Navi 22. And lastly, we got our contradicting information coming from Cortex, who, according to his sources, says that only the highest end model, the 6950XT, would come out from this round of refreshes. I guess now would be a good time to take a couple of screenshots and, you know, come back when uh, the information is out and all of the products have launched. In any case, what would change with these models? Well, the only big change would be memory speeds. Going from 16 gigabits per second for the GDDR6 memory to a higher speed of 18 gigabits per second. If that is the only change, it's a bit of a curious move. There's already a model that sports these specs, although it is exclusive to OEMs. Specifically, I'm talking about the 6900XT LC from AMD, LC standing for liquid cooling. But what about the process node? Isn't AMD going to use the fancy new 6 nanometer process, which is supposedly perfectly interchangeable with TSMC's 7 nanometer? Well, no. Current information states that the uh, refreshes will still be on the 7 nanometer process. In terms of release, the 6950XT is rumored to come out in just two months, mid-April, according to Cortex. And you know what else would be right before mid-April? I mean, besides early April, well, late March. And uh, that's when NVIDIA's GTC event will be. That should be around when we'll finally see the 3090 Ti. Okay, so all that's cool. Now, what about the next generation? What about Navi 3X and RDNA 3? Well, we just got some big confirmations coming directly from an AMD engineer. On the engineer's LinkedIn profile, we can see that he is a principal member of the technical staff, specifically working on Infinity Data Fabric Silicon Design. On the project section of his profile, we can see that Navi 31 and 32 are based on two different process nodes. That's because unlike the MI250X, Navi 31 and 32 are based on the chiplet design and not on a multi-chip design. The difference is with multi-chip design, a single chip could work on its own, whereas with a chiplet design, they all need each other. So the compute chips would be on the five nanometer process and the 3D infinity cache slash bridge is built on the six nanometer process. The profile also further confirms the fact that Navi 33, AKA the 7600 XT will be on the six nanometer process alone, which means it's a monolithic GPU. So yeah, we mostly knew all of that, but now we got confirmation from an AMD LinkedIn profile. Pretty cool. Moving on, we got our second, or I guess third or fourth look at Intel's Alchemist GPU directly from Intel this time. The front side, as we can see, matches all of the leaked photos that we've seen over the past few months. I personally prefer that matte black look a lot better than the silver one that we saw before. We also got a shot of the backside of the PCB. It looks like everyone is after that short PCB with the overhanging heatsink these days. Then moving on to gaming news, we got Rockstar. After what, nine years since GTA V released, the company finally breaks the silence about the follow-up. What we have here is a statement that says, we are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. As previously reported, the game started development back in 2020. And if we know anything about Rockstar, it's that they take their sweet, sweet time. So while we have news, don't expect the new entry until at least 2023. Heck, I'd push it to 2024. 
And lastly, we got Stadia in the news. Yep, apparently it's still alive. And according to Business Insider, Stadia is kind of selling itself out to anyone who might want to use its servers as a white label service. That's the uh, pay me money, use my service, and we'll just call it yours model. According to the same source, Bungie wanted to strike a deal, though the new Sony acquisition might change things. Capcom is another potential customer who would want to use the service to showcase demo material. While I personally think Stadia was kind of dead in the water, I hope that this gives them new life. And I just hope that they don't kill it because a lot of people bought their service. If I'm not mistaken, it was in the tune of 750 million. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you want to talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, this is going to hurt because I think I broke a lower back rib falling down the stairs. Anyways, take care. Ah!